Neither one of us had any formal training in process safety. Chemicals are very pervasive in our society. I guess there had always been a feeling that if you just did the job properly, that by default it was also safe. All chemicals are basically a two-edged sword. When uh, certain circumstances occur, it can lead to an explosion. T. Michael O'Connor, I'm a research associate here uh, with the Safety Center. Sam Manan, I'm a, a professor of chemical engineering here at Texas A&M University, and I'm also director of the Medicare O'Connor Process Safety Center. In 1989, my uh, first wife died in a chemical plant explosion. She was a chemical engineer, as am I, and thinking about it afterward, um, I realized that neither one of us had any formal training in process safety, even though we had degrees in chemical engineering. While it's a terrible tragedy, uh, personally, that something really positive has come out of it. And one of the things I did was to um, mail out anonymously letters to a number of universities that I th thought might have an interest in this or our alma maters also. And really A&M was the only one that came back with what I thought was an imaginative proposal to establish a center that did both education, which I knew needed to be done, but also uh, research, which I didn't fully appreciate the need for at that time, but I do now. What uh, Mike O'Connor has done with the single sponsorship of this uh, uh, center has brought about a sea change in uh, what we see in our uh, graduates that we're producing, how they're impacting the industry, and so forth. Texas A&M is one of the very few universities where process safety is part of the core chemical engineering curriculum. That means every chemical engineer who graduates from here has to have process safety as a three-hour credit course. Texas A&M is probably the only university where safety certificate in terms of process safety, system safety, is offered as a minor, where any of the engineering disciplines major, they can uh, opt to take process safety or system safety certificate as a minor. We have also integrated safety very extensively in our research. We currently have anywhere from 30 to 35 PhD students working in different areas of research. Now these students are coming from a background of mechanical, petroleum, uh, industrial, and chemical engineering. And they get their PhDs in those disciplines, but uh, what is different about them is in addition to taking the core courses uh, uh, of uh, the graduate level uh, for their discipline, they also take uh, a bunch of electives that are uh, dedicated to uh, process safety issues. While we are changing things for the new graduates that are coming out uh, from here, there are hundreds and thousands of graduates that are out in the industry that did not get the opportunity for uh, taking uh, the, these new curriculum. So we have made uh, about 59 different courses on process safety, different aspects of process safety that are available to the industry. I've had the pleasure really of working with the center, uh, not just as uh, someone that was able to fund it originally, but to participate and watch the students learn and mature uh, and move out into industry and become leaders there. And so I really think that the future of the profession is uh, rooted here at A&M to a large extent because we're producing you know, the vast majority of the PhDs and master's students in this field and they are naturally going to be the leaders. Uh, it's not unlikely for me to get a call from a company saying that we want six or ten of these types of engineers. And my answer to them always is, well, get in line because uh, uh, the need is the same in most of the other industries. We need to increase our footprint into uh, these other disciplines, uh, nuclear safety, uh, aviation safety, uh, 
these new areas of uh, engineering that we are getting into. And before we go too far with those materials, I think the safety issues and environmental issues uh, need a lot of research. The third area of growth that I see is in the international arena. Uh, a lot of growth in the industry is going on, for example, in the BRIC countries, Brazil, Russia, India, and China. And uh, those uh, growth rates are phenomenal. So we have to view this as a global effort. I think we um, do see a change in the way uh, industry and academia uh, view the discipline, uh, that um, there's a real recognition that it is a, a, a real um, you know, field of study with very specialized skills and knowledge and really a, a passion that is necessary uh, to move that forward. I can say without any reservation that Mike O'Connor has converted a personal tragedy into a great opportunity. A great opportunity not only for giving substance to a vision he had, but a great opportunity for young people to get into new careers and exciting careers. An opportunity for the industry for things to get better an opportunity for government and other stakeholders to take advantage of what we are doing here in the center.